Hello world, and back to tuning into today's uh, second video. Going to have a look at the weather in the dead 14 days for today's second video. Day 10 will take us to the 7th of uh, December. And we'll be able to extend out beyond that with the Excelsior GFS and ECM Ensembles. Maybe once around a couple of weeks. We'll have a look at CFSB2 at the end of the video for the next four weeks. So it gets us to Christmas. And I shall get over that for you in a moment. Just to say that first video today was our 6am UK weather forecast. So if you could, please like, share and subscribe on all of today's videos and content. Thank you so much everybody for doing that. Slightly quieter today today. We always have a slightly quieter today on a Monday after all of the uh, epic content over the weekend. It was, <laughs> wasn't it a weekend of uh, epic content? I hope you all enjoyed um, all the content we produced this weekend everybody. Right, okay, so we're going to start off Central England temperature. BCT is coming down quickly now without sitting uh, 8.1, which is 1.7 degrees above 6199 average. That is provisional to yesterday, to the 26th of uh, November. That's going to carry on falling to month's end and will finish somewhere in the 7s. So I'd imagine like 7.6, maybe 7.5, something like that could be the landing zone. But it will be very interesting to see where that uh, ends up by month's end. These are the GFS upper air temperature and precipitation ensembles. We're going to go the red line. It's a 30-year average for Ashford in uh, Surrey. Uh, and thank you so much to the supporters of uh, Ashford Town, I think it is, who have asked me to have a look at, uh, at uh, Ashford. Uh, that's no problem. If anybody wants to uh, have their suggested location, you know, featured in this part of the video, then please message me or post in the comments or something, and uh, I'll pick that up, and uh, that is never a problem to show your local uh, town, city, etc. Right, so uh, we're going to start off uh, above average, well, about average at the moment with the upper air temperature. They're coming down, so for the rest of November and into December, we're going colder than average, looking really quite cold up until at least around the 4th, 5th, and 7th. There is a bit of a, uh, a warming trend then that's in evidence as we go into the second week of December. Temperatures begin to recover back close to average. Quite a lot of scatter within that, though. So I've got the colder ensemble members down here, milder ensemble members up here. So probably the scatter is masking. Uh, the return close to average a little bit. But I think there has been a recovery in temperature, certainly about here anyway. So at the end of the first week of December, it does look like the upper air temperature stage, a little bit of a recovery. And then, and then we're going to lots of uncertainty. But before then, we're colder than average through the first, really the first week of December, precipitation-wise uh, for Ashford. So we're going to quite a bit of rain today. going to be drier for a couple of days. And then more um, heavy precipitation being suggested there as we get through towards the end of the week. Of course, it's quite cold then. So so that might not only be um, rain. So that could be so. Have a look at Snow Row in a moment. Drier into the weekend a couple of days and then possibly picking up uh, more wet weather through into the second week of uh, December. Let's have a look at snow potential for Ashford. So we do see a cluster of uh, snow spikes there around the first uh, around the first of December really. So um, possibly there could be uh, some snow coming through uh, for Ashford right at the end of the week. Not much after that as it starts getting mild. It looks like a lot of those um, uh, precipitation spikes are rain there as we go into the second week of December. Temperature anomaly is from the 27th of November to 5th of December, coming out colder than average. Most parts of Europe looking quite cold as well. And uh, precipitation anomaly is from the 27th of November to 5th of December, drier than average in most areas, especially in the northern half of the country. The latest wind from that from EarthNorthSchool.net shows that low pressure is beginning to move away into the uh, continent, into the low countries, and in its wake, we're pulling in these cold north to northeasterly uh, winds. So, I've been a little bit milder for the last 24 hours, but cold air now starts starting to dig back in from the east. Right, let's start going through the uh, chart data then. So, this is the latest UK Met Euro run. It's looking for midnight on Thursday. So, this oops, this is below that is causing all of the uncertainty about whether we can get rain or snow, etc., etc., etc. That low just there causing all sorts of havoc within model output. You will see as we go through these charts that most of us are now having that low to the south and uh, missing us. So, the risk of a survey on Thursday has reduced quite markedly. 
maybe overnight runs, although I wouldn't still entirely discount the possibility. So that's Thursday into Friday. All the low pressure is to the south of the country, but we are bringing cold east winds, so same cold to the end of the week. By fr midday Friday, that low pressure is just a little bit closer to the southeast corner, so that's where some snow could start getting into the mix in places like Surrey. Uh, uh, we might start bringing up some snow. Rain sleet also from the uh, southeast there. Um, then beyond that, the low pressure moves to the low countries and Germany. It keeps us cold into the weekend, going to be all transient ridge, so some harsh overnight frost to cover the weekend. Then another low coming in from the southwest. That's on a southerly track again, so as that one comes in, will be a great chance of some rain, sleet and snow coming in with that. Um, by the beginning of next week. That gets us to Monday the 4th of December. Certainly saying cold anyway with the UK Met Europe run right way through to this time next week. Uh, Icon again looks like that. So uh, once more that low is over Biscay. Midday on th uh, midnight on Thursday, um, giving us uh, a miss there, so we don't get any impact from that at all. That goes into France. We just keep the wind in from a cold north or northeast easterly direction. We're going to the north or staying to from the north over the uh, weekend. Another air flow pressure begin beginning to develop. Uh, in the Atlantic later in weekend, similar to the UK Met Euro run, that starts to come in on rather a southerly track. It is moving into cold air, so that one could deliver some snow. But again, you see how that is slipping down into France and Biscay as well. It's a very common pattern in this kind of pattern that these low pressures get pushed further south. And in the end, very often they do end up over uh, France and Biscay, which is why the old channel low, which most of us from the 1980s winters remember so well, um, why why we remember them? Because they were exceptional. They brought exceptional amounts of snow during those 1980s winters to southern and central parts of England and Wales, but they are very, very rare, and nine times out of ten, these areas of low pressure just go sliding down into Biscay. It keeps us drier, but cold, and so Icon keeps us cold right way up to uh, the beginning of next week as well, with winds remaining from a north or north east direction once more. This is how the GFS Midnight Run is looking, a little bit further north with that area of low pressure on Thursday, but mainly over Northern parts of France. There might be some precipitation getting into the far south. Uh, with that, that would be rain, sleet, so uh, of course. Into the weekend, low pressure moves off to Germany, and we go into that cold northerly direction once again, and then into the beginning of the following week, low pressure starts heading in from off the Atlantic. That's coming to cold air, might deliver a little bit of snow through the early part of next week, but that one starts to choose them southwest winds. We we begin to lose the blocking. So as we go through next week, you saw it on the ensemble graph, increasingly mild with winds pushing up from the southwest, turning wet and windy around day nine and ten. And then beyond that, we go off and running into a very unsettled spell of weather, low pressure areas coming in from off the Atlantic in bouts of rain and uh, mild temperatures as well, winds coming in from off the Atlantic. So looking very Atlantic driven there by the 13th of December with, uh, with uh, winds stretching all the way from Canada, western winds stretching away from Canada, right way over to Russia. Uh, the GFS 6Z, again, with that area of low pressure just to our south on Thursday, but mostly affecting France. We seen the cold air with north northeast winds. These northeast winds might deliver some snow showers as it gets colder into the second half of the week, but something to keep an eye on. And then into the uh, weekend, we have another area of low pressure here in the Atlantic. That one again goes sliding northwest to southeast. That one goes down to Spain and Portugal, actually. So the upshot is we just stay cold, mainly dry over weekend, but with some harsh overnight frost. And then into next week, mild air begins to start pushing back in from off the Atlantic. Then we go off into a battle um, into the second week of December. So uh, we've got high pressure then building over Scandinavia. Scandinavia as low pressure deepens in the Atlantic. So this is a proper old meteorological battle that we're seeing here. Uh, irresistible force meeting the immovable object as these areas of low pressure come against this big blocking area of high pressure. Actually for a while, but Scandinavian high of this GFS 6 it does win the battle. So this is the 6th to the 9th of December, I should say, with high pressure pulling uh, towards us and pulling wind round to an easterly direction. Doesn't last for long, more low pressure starts coming up 
against that big Scandinavian high. So that's how we finish up by the 13th of December, still with the battle going on, really, deep low pressure in the Atlantic versus that uh, blocking area of high pressure over Scandinavia. Certainly milder through the second week of uh, December there, but also a lot wetter and windier. And as these uh, weather fronts... Uh, well, I'm sorry, so we're below pressure come up against this block. There's a potential for some large amounts of rain actually as the front slow down and um, and get blocked by, by, by the block that's sitting over Scandinavia. If you enjoyed the video, please do like, share and subscribe. Thank you so much everyone for doing that. Why not drop a comment and let us know what you think about this and all of our videos. And don't forget to tell your friends about Gaz Worthings. I mean, thank you so much everybody for doing that. We need to put on... Um, Around 91, 90, 91 subscribers to get ourselves to 17.4k. We did reach 17.3k uh, a couple of days ago. So thank you so much for everybody getting us to 17.3k. And now we're pushing on to 17.4k. Thank you so much everybody for uh, doing that. Okay, GM. Again, that area of low pressure. It's a little bit further north compared to some model output for Thursday. It's over the far northwest of France there. But below mainly affecting France, winds in from the east and from the northeast as we go through to Friday. It's keeping us cold with uh, snow showers into eastern parts of the country. On into the first weekend of December, winds remain from a cold northerly direction. Berber snow showers are likely there. Hold on, that is so that's Sunday. What's going on there? Right, so the GM, uh, GM has only updated to. Uh, midnight Saturday, hasn't it? So, <laughs> these bottom charts do catch you out. Right, so I'm going to go back to two. Uh, I don't want to go at Weta because the UK Met has an updated there at Weta for days on end. And that also has problems with the GEM as well. And we're still not getting the uh, ECM Ensemble clusters updated at the Icelandic Met types either. So, I think, <laughs> I think these uh, third party websites just like to try and make my life a misery, really. <laughs> really. <laughs> um, anyway, right, so we've got the GEM up. Here it is then at uh, the Weather Outlook. Let's have a quick look at uh, this one, shall we? Let's just zoom in a little bit so you can see it a bit better. There we go. Uh, right, so this is the GM. Um, though, again, that area of low pressure we just saw is across the northwest parts of France on uh, midnight on Thursday. We go beyond that, which is the uh, arrow key, so we go beyond that. And uh, below pressure, mainly affecting France, keeping us in those cold north or northeasterly winds. And then... Through to the weekend, we're staying cold under that little transient ridge of high pressure. So, staying cold across into the weekend, more low pressure is developing out in the Atlantic. Where's that low going? That's coming in in the early part of next week. That could be bringing rain, sleet, and snow in with it as it moves into the cold air. Of course, that's going to return us back to quite cold northerly winds again by the middle of next week. Heading up towards day 10, are we about to establish? An Atlantic flow. It looks like we probably are. That's uh, midnight on Thursday, the 7th of December. High pressure beginning to strengthen then. That's the Azores high, of course, beginning to strengthen down to the southwest of Spain. Low pressure is to the west of Ireland. It looks like that's getting set up to bring this low in, which will bring further wet weather, of course, and introduce a southwesterly flow. Uh, right, that's that one done. Now, where I'm on the towers here. Right, this is the ECM. So, uh, again, we fire the winter in from the east on Thursday. And they could bring some snow showers into the eastern counties. With them. That low, nowhere near us with the east. Yeah, that's well over France. So, not even a glancing blow from that. We just keep wind in from that cold east northeasterly direction through to the end of the week. And I say these easy winds could bring some snow showers in with them. On into uh, the first weekend of December, staying cold with winds remaining from a northerly direction. Again, this next low also goes sliding off towards Biscay and uh, Spain and Portugal. So we just stay cold, but largely dry, largely dry, into the early part of next week. And uh, then beyond that, well, high pressure starts reaching in from off the Atlantic and it's a little bit further south as well. For this area of low pressure starts pushing through by the 7th of December, that can bring some rain and maybe a little bit of snow in with it. This is a precipitation forecast based on that uh, ECM run from tometeo.com. 
So rain clearing out of way to the south east today. Then we're into those north northeasterly winds heading into the middle part of next week. So wintry showers towards the east coast, otherwise mostly dry. But wet weather with that area of low on Thursday is well away from a chug coming in far southwestern tip of Cornwall, really. Um, so not a lot going on, you know, just a few showers around coastal areas, lots of dry weather. Perhaps something a little bit more widespread, precipitation wise, into weekend. So this is Sunday. This would be winter forecast to actually bring an area of uh, sleet and snow southeast across parts of England and Wales then. That would be nice and seasonal for the winter forecast, wouldn't it? Uh, and then beyond that, so further snow showering down the east coast there, perhaps are both clipping in to the southeast corner as well, before wet and windy weather arrives by day 10. So that could turn to snow for a while as it bumps into the colder air. These are the options on the table within the ECM Ensemble Day for day 10, gets us to the 7th of December. 23 members of the ECM Ensembles with a mid Atlantic ridge going up towards Greenland, top of low pressure to our south and east, and winds coming in from a cold east or northeasterly direction. So that one stays cold up to day 10. We have also got 16 rounds of the east on ensembles with high pressure slipping southwards, low pressure out in the Atlantic, with milder southwest winds beginning to uh, re-establish from the southwest. And then we've got 12, which still have a blocking area of high pressure around Greenland, low pressure continuing to come in from off the Atlantic, though. So uh, that's trying to get mild, that's trying to go into Atlantic flow, but it's probably still quite cold, especially in the north, as we are on the cold side, the jet stream still there uh, with that option. And it's the sort of thing that could deliver some snow, especially to northern regions. In two time, these are the options that we've got. We'll get to the 12th of December. 12 members of the ECM on songs with low pressure right over top of the coach. Looking very unsettled uh, with that. Still just about on the cold side of the as well. So that's milder, but it's probably still quite chilly, um, if nothing else. Then we have got 11 members of the ECM ensembles with low pressure a bit further north. Also, though, blocking continues through Scandinavia to Greenland. But the low pressure coming in off the Atlantic brings generally uh, milder conditions, also wetter as well. We've got 11 here with low pressure again to the west of the southwest, high pressure strengthening down towards the med and winds coming up from a southwesterly direction. So that's turning milder, but it's unsettled. We have got 10. Um, with high pressure right over top of the country. That's a milder ridge, but could still produce frost and fog. And then we've got seven keeping it cold, with high pressure somewhere between Scotland and Iceland, and so that will still keep wind in from a cold northeasterly direction. It looks like we've got a trend here to turn things milder into the second week of December, I have to say. Pretty good agreement between the GFS and the ECM on so I think there's pretty good agreement that we're going to be turning things milder through um, to the second week of December. CFSB2, uh, finally, it's a 500 millibar high size uh, breakdown to week period. So first week period takes, takes us from 27th of November to 3rd of December. So uh, this week we'll have blocking to the north and low pressure to the south and east. We have winds coming in from a cold east or northeast direction. Cold and wintry. In the week ahead, week two is going to be the 4th to the 10th of December. Super blocking air of high pressure around Greenland, but low pressure comes in off the Atlantic. And that starts to bring uh, milder, but also wetter and windy conditions in with it. Week three will be the 11th to 17th of December, still with low pressure just to our west. That's all Atlantic driven, generally mild, wet, windy. And then lastly, week four will be the 18th of to Christmas Eve. And, um, and low pressure continues in the Atlantic, although notice this area of high pressure building to uh, northeast. That looks like a proper Scandinavian high. Um, so, could that start to bring us easy winds to head towards Bristol? That would be an interesting scenario, wouldn't it? But it's four weeks away, and uh, so it's not really worth worrying about. Not yet. Not yet, not yet. Uh, thank you so much, everybody. That's the end of the video. Thank you so much. If you enjoyed the video, please do like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much, everybody, for doing that. Why not drop a comment and let us know what you think about this and all of our videos. Don't forget to tell friends about that as well. Thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. Right, I'll just tell you what's coming up on the channel tomorrow. We're going to have a 6M UK weather forecast. Have the EC30 uh, day for Europe, the XM European Outlook. And we'll be a 10 to 14 day as well. I have been playing around with the idea of doing Snow Watch.
Um, but I don't think there's enough here at the moment to suggest it would be worthwhile. So I'm just going to keep watching this race. If that load pressure gets pushed further north again for Thursday, then Snowwatch may appear, um, you know, it, with, uh, up to like 12 there, for example. But at the moment, most of those bars are taking that load away from us into France and Biscay. And so I don't think there's going to be uh, all that much in the way of snow for Thursday. But it's an ever-ongoing, ever-changing situation. So um, it is a case of watch this space. And uh, if anything changes with that, then uh, I will get snow watch done for you, either tonight or uh, more likely tomorrow. Uh, so you enjoy the rest of your Monday. And for this one, though, that's all for now. And thanks for watching.